In a previous video, we talked about how A plus and A minus act as raising and lowering operators for the quantum harmonic oscillator uh, for any solution. And so now we're going to use these raising and lowering operators to construct a so-called ladder of states. This is the harmonic oscillator ladder. So let's start with A solution, psi twiddle, with energy E twiddle. If I apply A plus to that, I get uh, a new state with an energy H bar omega higher. If I apply that n times, I get another new state with an energy n h bar omega times higher, and so on. If I apply a minus to that, I get a new state with a smaller energy, uh, smaller by h bar omega, uh, and so on and so forth. I can go down as well. Um, so what's really nice about this is that if I knew only one state, only one solution, then I could generate all the others just by applying a plus and a minus as many times as I could. Um, at some point, when I'm applying, applying the lowering operators, so at some point, there must be a ground state. We know that all these quantum solutions have some ground state, so there must be some ground state energy and some ground state. I'll call that psi zero with energy E zero. So uh, for this ground state, it must be that I can't go any lower than this ground state. Um, in particular, uh, if I applied or tried to apply a minus to this ground state, I would just get zero. I just can't go any lower. This is the bottom rung of my ladder. Uh, well, I could write that out because I know what a minus is. So a minus is this square root times minus i p hat over h bar plus m omega x hat times psi zero. And so we're saying that must be equal to zero. Okay, so recall that p hat is minus i h bar d by dx. And so just substituting that in to this relationship for the ground state, I get h bar d psi 0 dx plus m omega x psi 0 must be equal to 0. So this thing in parentheses must be equal to 0. If you look at that, you'll notice that that's actually a first order differential equation. That means we can solve it. And in fact, it's rather easy to solve this first order differential equation. Let's just do that. Let's just solve this. So I'll move the derivative on one side and then the term without the derivative on another side. And so then I do separation of variables in the first order sense. So I move psi zero to one side and then x dx on the other side and integrate. And then my solution that I get is psi zero is a constant a zero e to the minus m omega over 2 h bar x squared. Notice that this is exactly the same ground state solution and ground state wave function that we found when we solve the quantum harmonic oscillator using Hermite polynomials. Uh, here we found it in a quote unquote easier way, uh, at least a little bit more clever way that didn't have to do with Hermite polynomials. Uh, the energy of this ground state is h hat times phi zero, which when I apply h hat, I can write it in terms of raising and lowering operators. When I distribute that through, I get h bar omega a hat, or a plus a minus psi zero plus h bar omega over two psi zero. But a minus psi zero is just zero because psi zero is the ground state. I can't lower it anymore. So I just get one half h bar omega times psi zero back again which tells me that the ground state energy is one half h bar omega. Again, that's something that we found using Hermite polynomials, so that's the ground state energy uh, of the quantum harmonic oscillator. So what we found is that we found the ground state to the quantum harmonic oscillator. It's a e to the minus one half m omega over h bar x squared with the ground state energy one half h bar omega. Uh, we could also find the first excited state so psi 1, which we get by applying a hat times psi 0. And so we get a constant times this square root factor. And then recall that a plus is minus h bar d by dx plus m omega x. And that is going to operate on the e to the minus 1 half m omega over h bar x squared. OK, so we can do that calculation then. We can distribute the derivative through. Uh, and what we'll find is we get some constant times 2x times our exponent. 
hey, notice that 2x is just h1 of x, the first termite polynomial, uh, just as we expected. The energy of this state is the energy of the ground state plus h bar omega, because we operated on it with one raising operator. So it's three halves h bar omega. And so on and so forth. So the nth excited state we can generate just by multiplying or operating on the ground state by n factors of a plus. Uh, in general, that's a bit of a mess, but you could do it. Um, not a big deal. And then the energy of that state is n h bar omega plus the ground state energy. So in such a way, we've solved the quantum harmonic oscillator um, for any state that we're interested in.